Okay, so in this video, I just want to introduce you to the function that's given by f of x is equal to a to the x, okay, for particular values of a, um, where we're going to be taking a as positive in the majority of these cases, okay? So if I took, for example, f of x to be 2 to the x, then what I'm saying is that as x is changing, then I'm doing 2 to the power of x. And so you could build up a table of results. So for particular values of x, you can get particular values of f of x. So what we could start with is we could have uh, minus 2, then minus 1, then 0, then 1, then 2. Let's keep going. 3, 4... OK, let's leave it there. So then when x is minus 2, you have 2 to the power of minus 2. OK, 2 to the power of minus 2 is a quarter. And then when you've got uh, x to be minus 1, you've got 2 to the power of minus 1. So 2 to the minus 1, which is a half. Then we've got 2 to the power of 0, which will be 1. 2 to the power of 1, well, that's just 2. 2 to the power of 2, that's 4. 2 to the power of 3, well, that's 8. And 2 to the power of 4, well, that's 16. And what we can see is that these numbers are doubling each time. And subsequently, they are increasing a lot faster than, say, x squared, for example, or x cubed, or x to the 4, or x to the million, OK? Because these values will only be increasing uh, as a polynomial increase, OK? Um, because that number there would, uh, is the, well, the, it's the power that is staying fixed. The number inside is changing, yes, but it is only increasing as far as that number there, OK? It's not increasing like this, which is doubling each time. And this is what we would refer to as an exponential increase. OK, so these are what we would refer to as exponential functions. Now, what it looks like on paper, we could do a very quick sketch of it, is that when we're over to the left of the y-axis, so we're at minus 2, we're at a quarter. So the curve, you know, when you're going back to minus 3, minus 4, going back to an eighth, to a sixteenth, it hugs the x-axis quite tightly. But as it approaches the y-axis, OK, it shoots off and gets as far away from that x-axis as you possibly can. So here we have a quarter, then a half, then we get to zero and we get to one. OK, so it's crossing the y-axis at one. When we're going past it, we're going to four. So when we're at uh, one, we're at two, then we're going to get to four, then eight, then 16, then 32, 64. OK, and it's increasing faster and faster and faster. So here is the basic sketch of an exponential function. Okay, here is a sketch of y is equal to 2 to the x, for example. And you can see also that, as I said, with the curve hugging the x-axis quite closely, and it gets closer and closer and closer to the x-axis as you work your way to the left. However, it will never cross the x-axis. It will never touch it because there is no value of x that you can substitute into this to get 0. So 2 to the x can never be 0 for, any, for all values of x. Okay? There is no value of x sorry, that will get you 0 for that function. And it's the same for a to the x. So a to the x cannot be 0 okay, unless a itself is 0. OK, but 0 to the power of x 
isn't really a worthwhile function to explore. Okay, so this is kind of like the introduction of what an exponential function looks like, and this is what we're going to be looking at in this section.